good afternoon and welcome to the meeting of the Perth Common Good Fund Committee for Monday the 27th of November 2023. Um, we don't have any apologies um, nor anyone online so I think we're all here. See you. Okay, thank you. Yeah, uh, thank you, convener. Now, I just have a, a few apologies um, to the list. We've got apologies from Councillor Peter Barrett, Councillor Andy Chan, um, oh, Councillor Grant Lang, and um, Councillor Stuart Donaldson. Um, so that's apart from that, everyone else in attendance here in the chambers, convener. Thank you very much. Do we have any declarations of interest in respect of today's business? No. I see none. Thank you. We'll move on. Um, item three, the minute of the meeting of the Perth Common Good Fund of the 22nd of, no, the 18th of September um, for approval. Um, do we have any comments or matters arising relative to those minutes? None. I see none. Thank you. We'll move on. Item five, then the cost of living grant. Um, at an earlier meeting of this committee, it was decided that we would make provision of £69,500 um, to assist with the cost of living crisis. Um, to date, only £10,000 of those funds um, have been um, used. Um, I've um, I'm conscious that we approach, you know, we are approaching winter. It's already fairly cold, um, and we are at the time of year when those monies might be useful to um, different people. Through committee officers, I've sought to see whether we can contribute in any way to funding provision that has already been made available through the council. Um, but officers believe that um, sensible provision has been made um, in all necessary areas. So my um, purpose in bringing forward this paper um, is to make provision between now and the next meeting of Common Good um, for any need that is identified um, to be able to be dealt with at short notice by seeking approval of committee members to make a grant to an organisation or organisations um, that um, might apply. Um, I feel we, we have these funds at our disposal. Um, they, they should be um, disposed of, if you like, through the Common Good Fund procedures, and I wanted to put in place measures for doing that during the course of the winter. Um, do we have any 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 questions in in relation to this paper? Um, comment from um, Councillor Eric Drysdale. Thank you, convener. Yeah, um, I'm conscious that uh, you know we we, we set aside. Sixty-nine thousand pounds, and and only ten thousand pounds has been uh, um, distributed so far. Uh, this is, despite, as I'm sure we will all agree, uh, a clear need for such funding um, across Perth and Kinross, and in case indeed across the the whole of the country. Um, you you in your opening remarks, convener, made reference to distributing. Uh, such funds through organisations uh, and I do wonder if we should be as a committee exploring uh, ways in which uh, these funds can be directed uh, to either to um, organisations such as the food bank uh, or alternatively uh, to individual families because um, Clearly, there is that need there, and it is about making people aware of the availability of of this funding. Uh, the you know um, people want you know people will need need that money, but we need to find ways of getting it to them without them having to go through an organisation. Um, that's just my general comment at this point, and I don't know if I have support from the rest of the committee on that. Thank you. For that. <coughs> um... I, I suppose I'm, I mentioned organisations because um, I would prefer it perhaps to go via organisations um, simply, I suppose, in the context that um, across the population, the, the sum of money that we have available is, is not huge. And um, 
I know we have provision in other areas of common good for individuals to make application, um, but it, it's, it strikes me it could be a business of those who get to know about it might apply. And, 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 and that, I suppose, worries me slightly. I'd, I'd, but I, w I welcome your comments and welcome any comment that others have. Um, first of all, a question from um, Councillor H Bailey Hearn. Sorry. Thank you, Convener. It's just on paragraph five, which is the proposal. Um, it says there in paragraph five one to delegate decision making to yourself as convener. And then in paragraph five two, it then says you will seek input from other committee members. And I just wonder, um, is your decision available without consulting to other committee members and what the process will be to communicate with other committee members and how that decision is made? I, th I, th I think there's been a bit of um, um, perhaps uh, the, the wrong sentiment was expressed. Um, what it says at 5-2 is what I would intend. Um, and any proposal that came forward, I would, um, if you like, circulate electronically to members and, and, and go with the majority view on it. Thanks. Councillor Revick. Hi, thanks, convener. I, I uh, support the proposals as they are in Paper 5. I think they're very pragmatic and uh, knowing you as I do, I know you will be as consensual as possible with it, with that decision making. I do take uh, Councillor Drysdale's point that, that actually we need to be very proactive in making sure that we distribute these funds to the people that need them. I don't, I don't think what's suggested in the paper and what's suggested by Councillor Drysdale are necessarily opposing. I think both can be incorporated to some degree. So while supporting the paper, I do note um, Councillor Drysdale's comments. Thanks. Thank you for that. And, and, and I would note further that if you like, ag against these specific funds, we have set up no guidelines for ourselves. So it would be entirely at the discretion of members um, if you know, to, to support or otherwise um, a, a, a proposal that was circulated. Councillor Liz Barrett. Yeah. Sorry, got there. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry, convener. Um, just to say, I, I support this proposal. I have sympathy with Councillor Drysdale's view, but also there is the thing about those in the know getting, and as you say, it does give you the flexibility. And I'm, I, I would just encourage all of us, as I think we have been doing, to put the word out to organisations that we still have this money and to contact you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much for that. And as um, some know, I, I, I I do my best at nearly every forum I go to where it's appropriate to um, stress that the um, Common Good Fund does have um, funds that are available for distribution um, and, and we'll come to it on a future paper, but it does worry me that um, the number of applications is 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 is, is small, but, but there we go. Councillor Drysdale again, Eric. Yeah, thank you for indulging me with a further comment. It's it's um, it's simply to say perhaps the, the, the key issue is that of communications. Um, and raising awareness of the availability of this fund uh, through council comms channels. No, I, I, I take that point on, on board and um, I, I will see what we can do to, um, if you like, further advertise the, the fact that the Common Good has, Fund has, has funds that are available um, to assist with meeting the cost of living crisis. Um, in the absence of any further questions or comments, then um, if, if you like, and taking into account the views that, that have been expressed this morning, um, ca ca can we agree this paper? Thank you very much. Moving on then to item six, we come to applications for financial assistance. And the first that we have is under small grants. Um, we are asked um, if we could grant funds um, for the Wednesday Tea Dance Group to assist with their annual Christmas party at the Perth Civil Service Club. Um, it's considered that a grant of £310 is consistent with the criteria at 9.6. However, given the fact that we have um, funds available, 
And um, given the fact it's a relatively small amount of money, um, I would might be minded to recommend that we grant the full £450 in, in this case. Um, can we agree that recommendation? OK, thank you very much. Moving on, we have an application from Holiday at Home based at the Perth Baptist Church to run um, three days of activities in July 2024. Um, they have asked for funding of £3,000 um, for those activities to, to fully fund those activities um, without indication of um, any contribution from elsewhere, although I note that they do actually um, charge for other events which help um, defray their costs. Um, I'm, I'm always reluctant to grant the full amount of an application. Um, so in this case, I would personally recommend that we grant two thirds of it at £2,000. Um, but if other members wish to raise an amendment, I'd, I'd, I'd be more than happy with that. Councillor Ahern. Thank you very much. Yeah, I was concerned that we were um, being asked to fund it in its entirety. And you're right, there is no indication of any funding from elsewhere. Um, I was looking through the criteria um, and I think 9.2b is an event or festival um, the, where an entry fee has been payable by the public, which is, if you look in there, uh, a nominal fee between five and thirty pounds for the three days. Uh, under that criteria, it's twenty percent of the total, which is six hundred pounds. Um, as there is no indication there where they are getting other funding, um, and whether the, if if that's the case, the event is not likely to go ahead. Um, I'm a bit reluctant because that then is £2,400 they've got to look for. Uh, I'm not sure I would go as far as you have with two thirds, maybe one third to £1,000, which is increasing to £600 to 1000 But under both those circumstances, yours, your um, motion and my amendment, is that event likely to go ahead or fail if the, they don't get the full 3000 um, I think I took a, a different view to yourself on the um, the matter of the nominal fee of five to thirty pounds, as if you like, being a, a contribution from participants rather than being, if you like, a payment by a, a member of the public, um, so to speak. So I, I and I, I saw it as a contribution rather than a payment for a service. Um, but you know, I'm. I'm minded to stick here with the with the two thousand pounds but if you if you want to formally suggest an amendment for a different amount then 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 i'll then i'll happy to accept that um could we get clarity if the event is likely to go ahead even with your motion because there is no indication there that they've got other funding for this i, th I think that that's um all of these funds are, are if you like only awarded after something has happened and unless we use the provisions for the, the the very small grants that we put in place so, so in a sense I, I, I don't think we need to ask that question since funds would only be paid um, if the event happens um, I, 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 th I don't I, I, I think that's going going beyond what we're what we're required to do if you like Councillor Barrett. Um, my interpretation of 9.2 point, uh, point B is an entry fee payable by the public to a commercial event. And I would say this isn't a commercial event, so that bit doesn't apply at all. So I'm, and I'm happy to support your proposal of 2000, convener. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Barrett. Do you have any other comment or questions, relatives? No. Um, in that case, can we um, agree the recommendation that we award a grant of £2,000 in this case? Agreed. OK, thank you. <coughs> We now move on to the matter of capital grants and we have an application from Moncrief Primary School Parent Council um, for an application of just short of £12,000 um, to extend the existing trim trail at the school as well as providing a wooden gazebo as an outdoor classroom for pupils. Um, in this case, um, I'm happy to 
um, accept the consideration and happy to recommend that we do grant the full £5,940 that is consistent with criteria 10.3. Um, do we have any questions or comment? Um, Councillor McPherson. Uh, thank you, Convener. Um, I would like to propose that we award the full amount uh, given the worthiness of the project and in light of the well-documented impact of COVID on the physical and uh, mental well-being of uh, on young people and the fact that this project goes uh, a long way in helping to ameliorate um, such an impact. I also note that the PN Council have not received any other monies from the uh, Common Good Fund in the last three years. Thank you. OK, I'm, I'm more than happy to um, accept that as an amendment and I see we have a, a second for that. Um, Councillor Barrett, do you wish to speak to that? Um, yes, I would I would like to support this. Um, as, as you can see, Moncrief Parent Council haven't asked for money before. Um, they are in an area of quite high deprivation. They don't have other sources of funds and this would be a tremendous boost to the school to get this underway as soon as possible. So thank you very much. I hope you'll all support it. Thank you very much for that. Um, I have no difficulty with with the sentiments there. I, I, I simply feel that um, as convener, I often have a role in um, safeguarding the funds to a degree, if you see, but, um, but I have sympathy with everything that you're saying. Um, Danny, perhaps we can, we have a, a motion um, for £5,940 and an amendment for the full amount. If we can go to a vote. Sorry, John, I, I didn't see you there. Councillor Rovac. That's no, no problem at all, convener. <clears throat> Just very brief before we go to the vote. I know we have a, a, a fine balance sometimes between quite rightly protecting the funds of the common good and therefore we have quite appropriate protocols. I'm just uh, very much aware of um, the benefits of outdoor learning and I think Councillor McPherson made a, a great point about uh, the health and well-being of our young people post-Covid being a real concern. So on this occasion I'm minded to support what he very eloquently put in his amendment. Thanks, Convener. Thank you, Raj. Um, I see no further questions or comments. Danny. So, um, apologies, Committee. I'm just going to have to do a little bit of uh, housekeeping um, prior to the um, prior to the vote. Um, just give me two seconds. Very good point. Thank you, Danny, for calling me to order. Um, do I have a, a seconder for the motion? No, I don't. Um, in, 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 in that case, I think we can dispense with the vote and, um, and, and the amendment is passed. Thank you. Well done, Danny. Um, in that case, we move on to the next item, which is the Perth Highland Games. Um, we've had an application for um, £14,000, just over £14,000 from Perth Highland Games um, to purchase a new stage for their Highland dancing competitions. Um, I note that they haven't um, received for funds from the Perth Common Good over the last three years. Um, I, I see they are, if you like, requesting um, the full amount of £14,000, which I, I don't think we should run to. Um, and and that they do note that they're awaiting a decision from the Perth, Perth Common Good Fund um, before applying for further funds elsewhere to support this purchase. Um, in the circumstances that are outlined, um, I'm happy to recommend that in accordance with criteria 10.3, um, we make a grant of 3,560, um, which is the 25%, which is our guidelines. Um, can we, uh, is there a question or comment, or can we agree that recommendation? Sorry, um, Councillor Hearn? Yeah, I'm happy to second your motion there. Thank you.
can we uh, is a uh, can we agree that recommendation okay thank you thank you roch <coughs> We move on then briskly to item seven on the agenda, which is the financial statement. And can I ask Fiona Lambie to introduce this paper? Thank you. Uh, and I, I noticed Fiona was there. I thought you might be doing it. Sorry. Um, so based on uh, the report, we're projecting a deficit of 7,000. 800. That's a decrease of 8,000 because we're getting a rental in additional rental income from Scottish Water uh, for the temporary works down at Lesser South Inch, and that will give an estimated balances of March 24 of 1,937,548. But based on what's happened here today, um, small grants was uh, just under 47,000 with a projected budget of 73. So we still have about £26,000 available in that area. Um, when we've put it on budget at this point in time. The cost of living uh, grants, we've still got 59000 but based on the earlier report, we're still projecting that will be fully spent. So hopefully um, we'll some applications come from that. And based with the increase in the trim trail to 11, well, just under 12000 we've got 3000 left in the capital grants element, but we're still budgeting for a deficit of 7,800 taking into account all those things. Is there any any questions? Or? Thank you. Um, are there any questions from committee members? No, I see none. Um, can we therefore approve the financial statement? Thank you very much and um, thank you all. That concludes our business today. Thank you.